Hey, um, should probably go in the room. Yeah, we could do that. <sighs> How's your day so far? Pretty good. I'm just doing some FTO sessions. Um, training up. What about you? We could go in here. I'm uh, well, solely losing my mind. Why is that? I heard I, uh, Don said something about deaths. I, I have no fucking idea. So this is all news to me. All right. Um, I'm hoping this is nothing. All right. All right. Uh, last night, Achi Acha died. Um, he was my uh, campaign manager. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, him, I think he uh, more than likely, uh, you know, I suspended him. He got real emo. Apparently started texting people. Saying he's sorry. Da, da, da. Contacts my website guy. Tells him, you know, remove his name from the campaign. All that. And next thing you know, he's dead. So, you know, take that for what you will. Um. Okay. Now, uh. Jesus fucking Christ. Then, uh. I just got wind that, uh. What's his name? Demako's dead. And uh, I don't know how familiar you are with uh, his relationship with a uh, investigation, but um, not much was done with that shit. But as he says in his own words, um, he's... Uh, the guy was yapping about things. So wouldn't uh -huh. be surprised if he got uh, X'd. Okay. And I just heard from Ursula that a person n n by the name of Chastity also died. Wait, three people died yesterday? That's my understanding. I mean, that must have happened like... <laughs> All at like the end of the day too, because I was around for like ten hours yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing, and chastity um, you said. Uh, chastity. I looked her up earlier. Um, let me see. Fuck. What was the name? Ch Chas. I'm sure I could find it. I'm sure there's a report about it. Give me one. Yeah. Chastity Marie Sanders. Yes. Notice where she's working. The tags. So, look. I'm hoping this is nothing, all right? But um, all three of these individuals have very close ties with the old console. Okay. Do you know what's happening with the banks right now? Now what's going on with the banks? All the bank accounts are frozen. Everybody's? Yes. And? What the fuck? And if you don't believe me, you can go down there. Um, People have been talking about it on Twitter. Um, assuming it's some kind of like, you know, just temporary issue. But uh, I think uh, there should be a real concern as to whether or not all that money was looted. Before um, someone, uh, one of my contacts over at uh, Maze Bank uh, informed me that a uh, individual came down to get his last console check. That phraseology is very interesting. A lot of people no longer on that table. But they got all the powers in the world to pull whatever m amount of money they want. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm going to bring that up to you. I don't know who you got on yeah. it. Like I said, hopefully it's nothing, but I think it's important to bring it up now in case, uh, you know, we have... Yeah, uh, no, 100%. I'm writing everything down. Um, I will I will speak to the, the Angel as well. See if she knows why the bank accounts are frozen or what the hell is going on with that. See if mm. there's anything up with that as well. Uh, she will be at the meeting in an hour, so I could talk to her then. Oh, perfect. Uh, and you said are, all three of the individuals that died yesterday knew each other in some way or another? 
Uh, yes. So I I can't speak to uh, Chastity. Uh, Ursula knows a little bit more, but Archie ran for mayor. Uh, he was targeted by uh, Maximilian Thoroughbred um, for running for mayor. Now, keep in mind, Archie was only found this out later, was apparently a very um, generally annoying individual, right? Friendly, but like very pestery, right? Uh, <laughs> so he did rub people the wrong way. Um, that's why he got suspended. This the fucking dumbass was like harassing Norman to become a judge then harassing Eve on my team for a position in the city council to see if he wanted whether or not he was wasting time. So I fucking suspended his ass. But but uh, during the whole thing, he got pushed into throwing his mayorship away um, at behest of Max. And uh, then there was a lot of bad blood, right? Um, the next individual, Mr. Um, uh, uh, what, what the fuck was his name? DeMarco. DeMarco. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not familiar. I know Archie and I know Chastity, but I, I don't know DeMarco. Beric's going to know a little bit more. Uh, he knows the details. He was with me. Um, I'm okay for him to share some of those details with like high command or whatever. But, uh, let's just say this guy ratted on a lot of shit. Okay. And um, nothing really came out of it. Um, I don't know why. I'm sure. Look. Slacks isn't the guy if you want something investigated. Just I'm Computer just going to say it straight up. It. It, I mean, call it whatever the fuck you want. This guy spent more time trying to suss me out of killing someone when I was with judges for like three hours last night. You know? I don't know what this fuck. You know my my thing with slacks, you know, all started because I didn't know who the fuck he was. He approached me at Jose's court case and goes, "Oh, what's going on?" You know, I'm like, "Oh, hey, uh, do I know you?" And since then, he's been offended. So, but been you really? Yeah, I I genuinely For don't him? know. It turns okay. out I knew him from like six months ago when I asked about a tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> like I I I don't know, but. The reason I point that this out is, uh, look, him and I, we don't see very eye to eye. This is the fuck boy that I, you know, for three hours wanted to have conversations with me for me to get an understanding of what the PD needs, you know, boost morale, like what kind of things you need. And the only thing he could, you know, conclude on is that the PD needs fast cars to increase morale. And, you know, at that point, I'm like, I, I don't. And then he yeah, came to me. It'll help, but that's not the glaring issue, you know, yeah. obviously. Yeah. I'm not gonna get into it too much. And he tells me he wants to start his own department and went all back of that, like separate from BCSO and LSPD. So I yeah, knew so it. He that wants point. his own investigative department. That is nowhere fucking near. Uh, I mean, well, is, if it's up to the PD, that it's not even fucking close to a no a fucking dream in hell right now. Th that's what I told him. I, I I told him, have you even like? I <laughs> I'm a lawyer. I see what's going on in the docket. Have you closed the case yet? The fuck are you going to do? Go start your own department with, like, zero background. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that, that's just um, not happening anytime soon. Not, not to mention, like, I can see the trouble you guys are having. Like, fucking, let's get these, you know, BCSO and LSPD in a good shape where people are, like, wanting to come on duty and feel like they're not getting harassed all the time. And and then let's talk about building on top of that shit. You know what I mean? But I agree completely. But, um, PD just needs support from my, I believe, you know, listen, say what you will about Max. Um, when he did come around and he rallied the troops, I will say that's something he did really well. People, people really enjoyed that a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it was mostly just that somebody in the government actually showed support for the police department. It's not necessarily any of the work he necessarily did because, mm -hmm. uh, he's not a cop. And a lot of the times he did dumb shit that was, had to be fixed by the high command. Um, but I, I do think that, you know, just the support shown by the government, it really boosted a lot of people's morale in that to show that he had the back of the police when, you know, that whole terrorism thing was going on in the council yeah. stuff. That's, that's very understandable. Um, I know sometimes you guys can seem like you're in your role. I'm not a big fan of the massive divide between the PD and the rest of the, uh, the folks. I think, uh, things have turned very red versus blue. Um, I agree. 
And, I mean, that's uh, something we're trying to do different with the BCSO. I mean, we did. You were there for that community meeting. I can see that. Um, yeah, that was that. That I, I want. I'd love to see more of that. You know. Yeah, that's um, the plan. Especially if, uh, you know, obviously, who knows who's gonna win? <clears throat> but Andy has a lot of ideas uh, for the North. Like she has a fair, which is really cool, and we want to like you know have the officer deputies go down there, just interact with people. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, there's not a lot of crime up here. But we make sure that people are patrolling up here anyway, just talking to the people that mm. are around. So I, I think that's massively, massively important. You know, having a yeah. divide between the civilians and the PD or even the criminals in the PD. You know, obviously we're on opposite, opposite ends of the spectrum, but there still needs to be like some sort of respect there on both sides. And, yeah. you know, that is lacking in the city, especially right now. Yeah. Um, I don't want to... There's a lot of good LSPD offices, but I think there's a little bit too much, um, too much adrenaline junkies that, uh, I don't know. Well, I, I don't want to push too much into that, but yeah, the, I, I, I get what you're community policing is, uh, important because if the community doesn't trust you, uh, they're going to find someone who will, you know, literally um, the reason I got elected a sheriff is because that's stuff I always intended on doing. Um, so I think it's massively important. Uh, I mean, even Friday after the meeting, uh, we're getting a bunch of the BCSO deputies to go to that pier and, and try to fix it and like oh. build it with the chaos legion up here and people in Sandy. Good shit. That's uh, little shit like that. I think it's massively important. And I know the LSPD is a lot larger than the BCSO, so it's harder to do those kind of things. But I feel like there's a lot of opportunities to do those kind of things in the city, even more so than in the county. Yeah. Especially right now, it's just not being done. Agreed. Um, Where were we? Uh, fuck, there was something else I wanted to. <laughs> we were talking about DeMarco, specifically, before we got on a team. Right. So um, the last thing that I've been made aware of in regards to DeMarco was that slacks now mind you slacks was intended to have no involvement in this because of his um lack of follow-up um barrett can chime in on this a bit but the next thing you know and barrett is aware of this but i'm gonna let you know given these events of today is um it was uh noted to me that slacks brought him out somewhere and so Demako went off record with a lot of information. Slacks was not privy to that information. And Slacks forced his hand and told him that you better, because I, I, I guess Demako was like involved in that shit, like the riot down at Mission Row PD, which I don't know what the fuck that crackhead was thinking, right? Like he's trying to bring down like all these people, but then he goes and participates in like fucking borderline terrorism. But Silly, but yeah. Slacks utilized that warrant to try to extort him to uh, tell Slacks everything. And when he didn't, his safe house key was removed and a bunch of other shit. Leaving him out to die. Just because he so, didn't give up certain information, they took his safe house key. Correct. I spoke to Barrick, and I think maybe Ruby was present for that. I don't remember if I talked to Barrick in person or over phone, but he was uh, informed of this two days ago. Um, uh, yeah, two days ago. And he had heard nothing about it. So I don't know what the fuck is going on, but when you sort of wrap all that together, um, you know, it's a fucking problem, right? Like, listen, I'm going to just tell you straight, Cassidy. Demarco, I have never seen someone squeal as much as this guy in his life. He fucking outed like an entire, he, as a second in command in a massive criminal organization, talks about drug trafficking and like, uh, like Siobhan handing like uh, government equipment over, etc. Like all kinds of shit. He said a like lot. Real, real shit. Real, okay. real shit. And while, you know, his testimony might not have value. That's at least a fucking clue where to look. Like, you can't tell me that, like, you couldn't, like, have, like, a detective or two just find one of these guys in their network selling drugs and use that as an in to kick a door in. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. uh, so. 100%. But I, I don't think his, like, his synapses fire in that direction. I think 
I, I don't know. I, I don't know him well, but the guy seems I don't know. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here telling you guys how you should do your job or how the detective unit specifically should, but like I said, yeah, no, the no, line was crossed know, when uh, he was... You know, I gotta fucking... I mean, I, I'm not aware that, you know, I'm a little bit in a bubble in Shift 1. <laughs> yeah. I'm the only high command in Shift 1. Uh, so I guess they were handling this, so I wasn't really aware of the, all of this stuff. But, I mean, if that shit that's going on, I'm... I don't... I need to... I want to know that. And I want to try to put a stop to it. If things are actually going wrong. So I'm going to look into it. Cassidy, these people died yesterday, and now the banks are locked. The yeah, fucking that's, console that's may have stuff. fucking taken all the money and went to Japan or some shit. Now that sounds kind of, this is probably only a 5% likelihood, but it's just kind of fucking strange. All this shit is happening at once. I mean, when, I don't, I don't, I've never been around to know three people, unfortunately dying in a day. I mean, I, that shit is fucking. And then a console member who, by the way, isn't on the console going and getting his quote unquote final paycheck. The day the banks get locked up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to talk to him. It's just kind of fucking strange, you know? The day after the Constitution changes, they see the doors are closing in. I don't fucking know. It's, you know, it's just fucking strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree completely. But we might be uh, facing an economic collapse. <laughs> so. Oh, God. Ho hopefully this is just some kind of database error. But. <laughs> Oh, I, mean, I fucking hope so. I man, really, really, really hope so. You know, this kind of shit happens in third world countries all the time. Like, they'll have, like, the prime minister, like, take the, all the country's money and fly to the UK. <laughs> and get, like, you know, have all their money in fucking Swiss accounts. So. <laughs> I mean, I haven't even fucking, to be fair, I don't even think I see Max. Nope. But they all got keys, and I just found out. A little go a while ago with this Cassidy situation and first and company that they've got fucking they've got some console tags on there I don't know who voted them in so uh but you know that like I said this could all be nothing but it's just very odd timing yeah I'm gonna try to like I said I'll I know she'll be at the meeting 100 percent so uh, if anybody's gonna know it's gonna be her so I'll talk to her about that specifically uh all this other shit uh with the deaths yeah. I will speak to people and get on it and start looking into it because it all is right. very strange. You know, three people dying in one day all may have ties to each other. Yeah. More than cause to fucking further investigate. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Appreciate your time, Cassidy. Yeah, of course, man. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for letting me know. Anytime. All right, you have a good rest of your day. You as well. Stay safe.